This thing's gonna blow massively. is I want to talk about this that I just discovered on Trading Light. I was having a look at where the orders are and I was like, oh, holy shit balls, Batman, because have a look at the open interest, which led me to go here and have a look. This thing's going to blow massively. So the last time we had a big spike up peak like that was here around August 15, 16. So if we go back to August, massive major drop. So that's a bit scary. The moral of the story is when we have 21 billion longs uh, at risk of liquidation and we have the open interest similar to what it was, not similar, but peaking like it was back here. And then the fact that you line that up with a news event whether they're going to use it for tonight's news event or tomorrow we don't know but one of these upcoming news events is going to be the excuse that wipes out all of that liquidity in the market if i just chuck on these liquidation here that little spike there wiped out the closest 50x longs obviously they're just trying to tap into that build their positions and this is a really good time to like average in positions by the way we do have a lot in this range that is trying to short if we get up there and we've had one spike into that area so far like everything is just telling me this is going to drop very soon for me the only like telling sign is the trading light orders because they're so heavy above and there's nothing really below mm -hmm. yes astro harry you're right the astrology does say down today if it's a final damage M, you usually see the fall away fairly soon. It may come like in the next two candles. Um, Javert said a few recent events, it seems we go opposite directions. So we go up before the news only to send it down afterwards. The reason that that happens is because if we're going up before the news, the market maker is building their short positions and uh, encouraging you to believe that the news, someone has got their hands on the news early and it's positive. And so then you FOMO long and they send it the other way. So yeah, it's very common to see price go one way and then reverse afterwards. And that's what we look for in the last 15 minute candle. We want to see in that last 15 minute candle before the news comes out, what position is the market maker building? We're in the last candle, right, before it comes out. Do you ever put limit orders in at liquidation levels for news events in case it pops? The only time I would do that, Julian, is if it was a 900 trade setup, which is now more like a 2.4K trade setup. Right now. Right now, yeah. At 22,900. Yeah. 22, it's just it's so cool to be able to time it, like to know that at this time something's going to happen. It's even when, like even every day when the, the 2 a.m. extension happens at 2 a.m. Yeah. Like, it's just like, yeah, we time that. Six minutes in, price is rising. Oh, here we go. I'm and getting these. some large orders in. 4.2 million buys in AgriTrade. <gasps> wow, the buy oh, is going on. 5.7, uh, yeah. Trading light orders are holding at the moment. Oh, my God. Million. Orders are growing, actually, at 22.9. Went from 3 to 3.5. We're still getting more significant buy orders than sell on AgriTrade. Yeah, that 3.2 is back, isn't it? Yeah, it's at 22.880 order. That's the big one. And people often front run like the round numbers for trades. So yeah, that's 22.9 is pretty big. Don't see many buy orders below price still. Nothing, yeah. Mm. So the orders above hold, you'd expect it to push down a bit. It, like there's nothing to catch mm. it, really. Mm. Uh, hang on, actually. Do we have to add 144 to 24 watching on YouTube? Actually, the thing I'm more impressed about is we only put it up an hour ago. I know, how good is that? <laughs> What's the best community in the world, man? Go, okay, we're we're getting oh, no. Okay. Yeah, those, elder, those orders. Yeah. Orders are gone? There's nah, they're yeah. still 2.7 at 22.9. So, right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. Is it going to be like the other CPI? No. Oh, ETH is gone. It's gone. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh. Look at Ethereum. Oh, yeah. <gasps> yeah, they collected that 160 million liquidation. No way. It literally oh. bounced off the weekly high on Bitcoin. Yeah. The dollar pumped massive. Everything. Everything's wow. dropping up. So that on Bitcoin, we've just created two bubbles of 481 million.